Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Coil Quickcard, and welcome back to Mario 64, where I continue my quest to get 120 stars. We're going to start with Winged Mario Over the Rainbow. The hardest, or at least the most, uh... Annoying of the uh, Secret Star stages. So, in this stage, somewhere between all these clouds, there are eight, uh, eight red coins. I have to get them all. That is not particularly easy. It's very easy to fall, it's very easy to miss, but at least there's a cannon to get you back up to maximum height, and the rainbows do connect the different platforms together, so you can keep track of where you have been and where you haven't been. Okay, we're gonna go up, because I need height. go. Okay. Need to go up even further. Specifically, uh, I need to get that red coin. The one hanging from the bottom of these poles. Which is difficult. Crap. Um. Alright, alright, alright. I'm, I'm okay. There's a red coin down there. Can I get inside the storm cloud? I cannot. Okay. Then we're just gonna go for this one. And then back to the cannon. I nearly killed myself. I should not have done this. I should have refreshed my wing cap. Crap. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah. It was stupid of me to do that before refreshing my cap. <gasps> no! Damn it! Well, I failed at my attempt. That's okay, though. That was always a risk. And there are plenty more levels to be done regardless. In particular, it is time for one of the stages that I quite enjoy. The Haunted House. Thank you, Boo. Go on a ghost hunt. Come on in here. <laughs> Star number one, kill all the ghosts on the first floor of the mansion. There are two behind that wall over there. We just gotta lure them in. That's two down. Next. Ghosts don't die. <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Yes. Yes, I can, creepy voice. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
Oh, damn you. Okay. Just gonna ignore the coins for now. I'm not going after the... the hundred coins right now. Hundred coins on this stage are easy. Hello! That's one hit down. Ah, no, Mario, I did I didn't actually want you to leave. That's two hits down. Mario, please stop going indoors. Boink. Okay, so he does reset if I go through doors, so seriously stop going through doors. There we go. Oh no! I'm at the last! I shall never defeat the, the big boo. I defeated the big boo. Thank you. Easy. It is just that simple. First star of this episode. It did take six minutes, though. I don't know if I'll hit my usual 14 stars per episode this time. Alright, ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. So, this is where we are actually going um, to go for the 100 coins. I could have sworn I was still moving with enough velocity when I ran into you. This level is loaded with coins. I think the stage actually has the most coins. Hello. Of any of the stages. Uh, without using glitches or exploits or anything. Um, 151? I think is the total for um, intentionally obtainable coins. I might be remembering that wrong, but that is what I remember. Uh, we're going to save that door for last. But we will take a silly box. For more coins. Okay. Next step. Kill more ghosts. Ghosts and books. Because for some reason, books, books are worth five coins, too. Uh, there's actually some more ghosts on this upper level, too. And blue coins. Okay. Come on through. I have my back turned. I don't know anything about the danger. Oh no. All right. And uh, I now have enough coins. that I can just head straight to the bottom level. So, there's a few ways down. There's the trap door you can fall through. There's the hole in the floor you can fall through. Actually, I'm gonna get another coin off of you. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Ow. Another blue coin. Thank you, but I won't be riding today. Down in the tunnels under the haunted house is some creepy circus music. Hello! Creepy circus music leading to more ghosts. 
And also, my 100 coin star. All right. Oh, come on, Boo. Thank you. All right, now let's do this dance one more time. Boom. That are... That is my second and third stars for this episode. Let's keep clearing the ghost house. Ah. All right, secret of the haunted books. This is another very simple one to get. I like how the doors are spooky faces. I think the library's in here? Yes, okay. So I think it's top, ow. Okay, no, it's top, right, left. And that's it. That's all it takes to get the next star. Not bad at all. You know, at some point I'm going to have to sit down and actually finish Mario Odyssey. Where I have like 110 moons. Okay, seek the eight red coins. I don't actually remember where every one of the eight red coins are, but I know that they are all inside of the house itself. Here is every child's nightmare. The murder piano. I think there's red coins on top of these. Uh, nope, not in here. There's some red coins behind the coffins, I know. And I think there's one on the center platform here. Yes, there is. Okay. There's none in the library. That door's the library. I think, yes, there's one in the grating above that area. For some reason, this house keeps its mausoleum on the, you know, second floor. Not where I would put my mausoleum, given the choice. Mostly because coffins are heavy. It's just easier to get them where you need them to go, which is presumptively the ground, if they're, you know, not on the second floor. Okay. Um... I think that star just spawns over here. Yes, it does. Got it. Alright, not bad. I am nearly finished with Big Boo's Mansion. Oh, just die already. I hit the wrong button. That's on me. Next up, Big Boo's Balcony.
We're gonna have to go fight Big Boo again for the third time this level. First we have to get up here. Little extra health wouldn't hurt. Come on, Big Boo. Come on, Big Boo. Fall for the trick again. B Big Boo does not learn from his mistakes. And then you have to make a series of kind of tricky jumps to actually get the thing, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Well, back up we go. Focus, Mario. You gotta focus, okay? I know that this is a tricky area to reach, okay? I, I understand that. There you go. Good. On you, Mario. Well done. That is my sixth star for the episode. Bringing the total up to a delightful 66. And that leaves only a single star in this level. Eye to eye in the secret room. Okay. Ow. Not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so I have to get this cap. Then I have to get up to the second level. And before it runs out, I need to get behind here. Where there is a giant eye. Then we just have to kill the eye. And that's how you get the last star in Big Boo's Haunted Mansion. Not bad at all. That is seven stars. And now to continue my habit of kind of jumping around a little bit. I think... It is time for the clock. I did one level this uh, this episode that involves getting shrunk down. So why not do another that's basically the same thing? But first, because it's not really ever shown off specifically, I will show how this works. To open the door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars. Blah ha ha. So, this is actually a cool little thing. If you have less than 70 stars, you cannot get to the top of these stairs normally. Even though it's nearly invisible when it happens, it is actually just constantly teleporting you down to the bottom of the exact same stairway. See? The effect is so perfectly done. It is nearly seamless. I think that is such a cool effect. And it's so cool that they pulled it off in this simple Mario game. With nothing more than perfectly done teleportation of the player. Alright, before TikTok clock, though, 
going to make an attempt at this again. Okay, we got a red coin here. We got a red coin here. And then we got a red coin down here, along with the cannon. First, refresh the cap. And now I want to shoot toward the second cannon. Which is over there. I want to get to the top of the uppermost platform. There we go. Okay. There we go. Specifically because there are two red coins up here. Then we refresh my cap, take flight. My next goal is going to be the red coin underneath this attached to the pipes. Okay. Good, good, good. My last red coin is in that dark stormy cloud there. Which is easiest to get if we just shoot from the cannon. Alright, let's do this. Whoops. Okay, don't, don't dip Mario, don't dip too far. Whoa, turned too tight. There it is. Castle Secret Star, number 14. My eighth star for this episode, bringing my total up to 68. Only a single Castle Secret Star remains, and that is in the last Bowser stage. Now let's shrink down again for tick-tock clock, and roll into the cage. The number of the... the number that the minute hand is pointing to when you jump into this clock determines the speed and direction at which the various components are moving. So I jumped in close to the three, which means things are going to be moving pretty normally. This is another stage where falling is a huge threat, but uh, unlike Rainbow Ride, because there is usually some kind of platform lower than your current elevation, it's easier to recover if annoying. And we have hit the nice number. Okay. Next star, the pit and the pendulums. <sighs> Getting the 120 star on this stage is very annoying. Uh, it is easiest to get the red star, or the red coins in this level if you uh, freeze the movement on the level by entering while the minute hand is pointing to 12. But unfortunately, that also makes it extremely challenging to reach some of the upper portions of the level. So you kind of screw yourself when it comes to red coin hunting, or to 100 coin hunting. Now, it's not impossible to get the red coins when the level isn't frozen, but it is a lot harder and it is a lot riskier. Alright, we're back up.
this level just keeps going and going and going up. Sometimes it feels like it never stops. That's a flippy doodle. Flippy doodles are jerks. When possible, avoid flippy doodles. Okay, here is the pit and the pendulum. See, that optical illusion made me think that this part right here was at a lower elevation. Boom. And boom. That is 10 stars for this episode, 70 total. I now have access to the final Bowser, uh, but I'm not going for final Bowser just yet. Okay, give a hand. You know what? I'm going to go for 100 coins. I'm going to go for 100 coins, which means that I am also going to be trying to get a few of these red coins. Well, maybe I'm better off ignoring the red coins until I know for sure I'm going to need because they give me a high risk of falling off the stage. And I don't want to fall off the stage. Okay. I think this is just another batch of coins. So the intended star for this level involves hopping onto that hand right there and riding it around to get a star. Focus. Play carefully. Oh boy, it's the flippy doodle. Okay, that's three more coins there. And three more coins there. Ignore the flippy doodle for my health. Long jump over here. Remember that that is not a decline. Okay. And there's a lot of red coins off of that switch. I am already up to 68 coins total. Let's keep climbing. Goodbye, Flippy Doodle. Alright, this section of the climb is very awkward. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I'm alive, I'm alive. That was not a bad fall. It only took me down, like, one level. There's my heels. Ooh. Okay. Now... Is there anything connected to here? This is where my knowledge of the stage is a little less certain. Okay. Damn. Alright, I see here. 
Okay, so that leads into there. But there's also a box on top of that little cage. Oh! I did not know you could do that. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that, that's a bit difficult. Um... Okay. I'm not going to risk that anymore. Because I know I can access it from up here. Wait for the rotation. Good. Wait for the rotation. There we go. Are you a one-up or are you more coins? Okay, you were three coins. Whoa. Very close now. Oof. Oh, that was close. Then we can go in here, which is more coins. We're up to 81. No, do not fall. That's a star, I think. Okay, 84 coins. No, 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 no. No! Oh, that is so depressing. Oh, that is so depressing. I very, very nearly got the hundred coins. I don't want to end it on a bad note, though. So I'm going to make one more attempt. This time with the hands of the clock frozen. Which will let me get all of the red coins. Some of the maneuvers you have to pull off when the clock is frozen are really tricky. But you are absolutely capable of climbing this while the clock is frozen. It just takes more wall kicking at uh, precise angles, things like that. Not falling into cliff, or not falling off cliffs, like I unfortunately seem to be threatening to do. Alright, this one's three coins. One third of the way. I am not giving up until I either get the hundred coins or die. Those are the two conditions that will end this level. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I lost a coin. Curses. Okay. This can be done with a backward jump, with, with a backward somersault. Ow. And then over here we got Flippy Doodle. 
Don't flip me, Flippy Doodle. One box, three coins. Come after me, Flippy Doodle. Thank you. Just move away from the box. Ooh. All right. We got away from Flippy Doodle. All right. This is very important. I need to get all of these coins. Losing time. Okay, okay, okay. I'm at 81 coins. And I'm doing okay. This is where it gets hard. Because you have to do that specific flip. Okay, what's over there? Is there a box over here and I'm just out of spawn range? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Do not fall. I have put a lot of work into not falling. Ooh. Alright, that's three coins. I am at 84. This is going to take a double jump. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still alive. I fell about two vertical levels completely recoverable. But it does mean I'll have to make the uh, wall jump again. Okay. It's easier with a somersault. Whoop. No. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, I died again. Oh, that level is so hard. Uh, I think next time I'm going to just resume doing regular levels, this time down in the basement. Uh, there's still two levels down in the basement, and then... Uh, all the levels on the, uh, upper floor. I, I've still got my work cut out for me, but I am at 70 out of 120 stars. That is not bad at all. In fact, it is downright respectable. And I will see you all on the next one.